Hello everyone, it's Stooms, and in this video, we are going to go through five mistakes that YouTubers make um, that ruin their channel. These are going to be five things that I learned from experience. Number one, thumbnails. You need to improve your thumbnails. Your thumbnails can probably be a thousand times better. I started out playing games and then using a clip from my recording as the thumbnail like a little snapshot, a little screenshot. And that's not the way to do it. If you're gonna do a snapshot of your video, um, it's not gonna pop, it's gonna kinda just blend into the background. And then I added a little title on the top left that also blends in, and it's just not good. I'll show you right now. So I started out as a COD Zombies gaming channel, and uh, these are all my thumbnails. Look at that, uh, they all blend together. I mean, it all looks the same, which is nice. Consistency is key, but they just don't pop, you know? They're not like, mm, you know? And look, look at what I get. Three, six views, four views. They're just not interesting compared to all the other COD Zombies content out there. I will go look at some for you. That's not COD, get out of here. Um, so we got this one, bright, flashy, you know, the guns in the middle, the words are well placed. There's like, it, there's contrast and the background is all blurry. You got a big gun here, little funny thing, funny thing, very well composed. Um, yeah, a lot of cool thumbnails. A lot of, how is this competing to this? This is this is no match, no match. So I recommend um, getting quality pictures from the internet or something and uh, just like uploading them to your thumbnails and making them pop and making them centered. I'll give you an example of one of my thumbnails that's actually good and it actually has nothing to do with COD Zombies, so right here so if you look at this list this is by far the best thumbnail and it's not the greatest thumbnail i admit that i'm a little dark i would have lightened myself up a little more but there's a reason for that in that video i want it to look dark and moody because that's kind of the theme of the video the words pop because of the color contrast with the bread and they're like the right size it's you know eye catching and then it's my face it's clear it's visually pleasing to the eye um and it goes hand in hand with my title. Keep it simple and keep it popping, you know? Out of all these, um, this is by far the best one. Like this is the one I literally wanna click on right now. And obviously it pays off. I got almost 300 views compared to my usual uh, 10 views, if that. 10 is good for me. <laughs> so yeah. And yes, you're listening to someone with 18 subscribers. I don't care, I'm learning as I go along, okay? Get over it. Uh, number two, the second problem is, this one's a little bit more interesting, Wondershare. Don't use Wondershare. If you're gonna go with the Wondershare community, pick Filmora, because that's the better version. For some reason, I was tricked into picking Demoshare, no, Demo Creator, sorry, Demo Creator over Filmora, because people kept saying online that Demo Creator is better for video games because they have the video game recording mode. Ooh, no, they lied to me. Pick Filmora out of the two because uh, nobody uses Demo Creator and I don't know what I'm doing. Now prices here, uh, where, where, how do I look at? Oh, there's the pricing button, I'm really smart. See, so this, this is good, you know? And if I go to Demo Creator, you know, Dummy Creator, it's more like 65 per year. That's like the best one. So yeah, Filmora is even cheaper. So like, go with Filmora, it has a lot more options. It's the more well-known one. It's what most people use. So yeah, a big mistake I made was going with Demo Creator. And I don't know why certain people said it was better for gaming, but it's just, it's, it's not. The third issue is picking a niche. So I picked a niche and it was a bad one. COD Zombies has never been lower in the past long time. So if you're gonna go for a niche, make sure you know what you're doing, make sure you know what's trending and don't pick something that's dying because that's right what i went for and again look at the results yes my thumbnails are bad i would do better if, with better thumbnails and there are certain creators like this guy that are still doing good like good job buddy tt zach one two three huh. like i don't know how he does it but he has better the thumbnails than me look at that um so yeah go subscribe to this dude because cod zombies creators need more help uh, i'm just gonna be honest so and also this guy this guy his oldest video is two months two months and he already has 3444 subscribers i've been recording for just over three months so not doing too hot but this guy is making it work so go subscribe to bs lawn 
Um, but yeah, these are just some examples of people that did it right. I'm not saying it's impossible to be a COD Zombies creator, but I am choosing to veer a little bit away from that and do some different things because it's not working for me very well. The bottom line is pick a niche that is profitable. Don't pick a dead niche um, like I did. Number four is um, playing a game without storytelling. So when I got into this, I was just like, I sat down, I started with Skyrim actually on my previous channel and I was just playing the game like, oh, I'm gonna do a Skyrim playthrough. I'm just playing like I do. <laughs> and it was just so uninteresting, so boring. So uh, make sure if you're gonna play a game that everyone has played already, like for 10 years, um, add something new to it. Make, a, make up a story, make up a challenge that you can do to make it more interesting because people are not gonna wanna watch you just running around playing a normal gameplay, you know? And that's kind of what I did with eh, like a few of these, you know? Uh, like all these first seven videos mm, it's, it's just me playing the game and I need to find something better. This one is good I highly recommend this one. This is actually tells a bit of a story um, And that's where I'm veering towards in my channel. My niche is gonna be pretty broad It's gonna be storytelling, but I want to transition to that because it's just I Don't want to get too specific with my niche because I like a lot of games and um, I'm more of a like personality creator I'd rather um, be unique by showing off who I am rather than the content I create. Definitely do a lot of storytelling. No matter what you do, it's best to tell a good story because people are into that. People will, you'll get your attention better if you tell a good story in your videos. And last, but definitely not least, is don't have a money mindset. Um, I'm at a point right now where I am transitioning jobs and it's very hard to find a new job. And I keep seeing these videos like, Oh, you know, you can get monetized in 30 days. You can get monetized right away from shorts, from ah, doing this. And they all say the same thing. And, uh, you know, it's just, if you watch too many of those videos, you're going to get burnt out right away. They, it's just, it's, it's not worth it. The best thing you can possibly do is just keep on recording. Keep on being consistent and recording videos and just have fun with it. That That's what I was originally trying to say. If your goal is to get monetized and start making money on YouTube, but don't, don't get obsessed with that because if you do, you're gonna get burnt out right away and you're not gonna wanna do this. So yeah, and uh, those are the five things. Um, I'll put them right here and uh, yeah, they're just, I think it's some good advice that I've learned and I'm still trying to implement it on my channel. I'm still like doing these mistakes currently on my channel and I am trying to actively change them in time. I'm still working on it, still growing as a creator. I just wanted to give you a little tidbit from a uh, small creator's perspective. You're always getting them from the people with already 500,000 subscribers telling you how to improve your channel and here's a little inside with someone who actually is starting new. Don't get don't watch too many of those videos, all right? Uh, th it's gonna drive you crazy because they're all gonna tell you to go buy their programs. And if you don't wanna do that, it's best to just figure it out on your own, like I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye